Bryce. Here. Hayden. Present. MacArthur. Here. McAvinci. Present. Nivell. Here. Olson, we're waiting on. Halshin, we're waiting on, but we do have a quorum. All right. So, let's look at the. Uh, any, anyone have any additions or other changes to this tonight's agenda? I don't. I move that we approve the agenda as presented. Support? That answers my question. <laughs> so, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. So then, our minutes from the last meeting. Everyone has looked through here for errors. Never do we find errors. And then we go missing ones. And I looked through it and I found it to be accurate. I make a motion to approve the amendments. Support. <laughs> All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> and opposed? No way. Okay. So, side of Granger Road, which is in the village, where people come off of Kent Road at about 50-some miles per hour, and then those that have pickup trucks and other vehicles they don't care about driving through the potholes there, they just don't slow down and keep going. So she suggested we put one of those up just for a while to slow people down, maybe. So that's one idea. And I don't know who we need to talk to about that. Do you know this? Um, well, I don't know if we, uh, we would have to contact um, the road commission because we don't maintain that road at all. So I don't know if we need their permission to put one of our own radar signs out there. I can make a phone call. If we ask them, it probably won't happen. Well, but if we say we're putting our own sign out there, that and might make a difference. their pull. Right. That might sure. make a difference. Oh, yeah. They'd say, sure, go ahead. Right. So, yeah, if we can schedule that in sometime, just give it a try because, you know, I walk there every single day, usually twice a day with my dog, <coughs> and sometimes we have to leap for the ditch. The cars go by very fast. So I agree with my neighbor. That's one thing. Thank you, Les, for coming. I also will be hearing from the former village manager at the end of the week, so I can probably ask him to. Sure. Thank you. No. There was another thing, but it escaped me at the moment. So, any other items from other commissioners? Who wants to go first? Melanie. <laughs> I have none, but thank you. Okay. And we'll go around the table then. Um. I guess update from council continues to peruse the master plan at a leisurely pace and um, there will be a special meeting for hopefully final review on that and I'm sorry, a workshop. Oh, workshop. oh workshop. Why, why is there going to be another workshop? Yeah, what's that? Um, some of the council members feel they have not had enough time to really? read that. Um, and would like to do that. Huh. How many workshops have been devoted to the master plan? Three. 
three. Yeah, three. So far. Yes. Yeah, I was at the first one. I'm glad you turned the room around here so that visitors are over here. Oh, good. It's that a, was great. A great idea. improvement. <laughs> so, is there ever going to be a cap on how many master plan workshops and or revisions and or meetings, special meetings that, I mean, this is just a lot of money. It's 50 bucks a person, council-wise. I'm not yelling at you. No, I understand. But is there ever going to be a, we have to stop this kind of thing? Um, that I know of, there is not. Could there, should there be? Possibly. But there is not. I, I don't know if you could. Okay. Um, because I think, it depend on circumstances, but I, I think it's a good idea to keep in mind um, spending residents' money on meetings versus do that. doing it at home. Yeah, I think Only council can pass it where they we can be have a majority it. that says we're going to cap it. Because basically what you're saying is it's going to be a workshop because they haven't read it yet. I don't think we should be spending money um, because they haven't taken the time to, to read it. And I, I think I, it's I awful. Wish I hope that the citizens out there in the community notice that because not all of us are asking for more workshops because we haven't read it. Some of us recognize that, hey, all of the changes were already covered at the previous workshop. There has been no new changes, changes, so why do we need an additional workshop mm -hmm. to cover? Who, can I ask who requested that workshop? Dan. Dan Ashley. Yeah. Dan is the um, and I did. Main person who's expressed concerns about okay. not having enough time to read. Okay, and, he, and you guys got this in March? Or April. April, and I did remind council that that is um, something that we, you know, when we are elected, we are elected to read things and to be prepared for the meetings. Um, but they feel not comfortable and not prepared to make decisions, so they would like to have another So we continue to try to progress forward and meet the goals of what our visions are, and that is to complete this as a group and get this done. And we have also tried to remind them that. If they are making revisions that are simply minor corrections okay. to formatting or something like that, that do not change the content in any appreciable way, mm -hmm. it still costs the best money for McKenna to yeah. also make those changes. Because McKenna will charge us for those changes too. So we've been trying to say, look, you know, at some point we have to. Just and that's my question. Yes, when is the cut off? Have you? Are we ever going to decide that? You know, come I don't know December. Well, anybody decide? As, as Tony said, that's that's really up to the majority of the council to decide that yes, they will approve it. So until we can get them up to the floor of the council to approve it. Well, and also okay. there is a fire um, if it is not approved um, and the recreation plan cannot be completed in a timely manner. A deadline comes and we do not meet the requirements for DNR grants and we cannot apply because we do not have our Parks and Rec Master Plan. Correct. In line, which means we would, you know, be at the loss of opportunities for a lot of money. When is that, um, Dina? When is that deadline? February first. February, yes. February first. Okay. Uh, I it's done for the I, parks and rec master plan has to be done by then, which means the master plan has to be completed, so the parks and recs can begin, so that could be completed. So. But I'm not even sure that. Never mind. Um, okay. I did talk with Wayne Wills this weekend, and, and he said that. There are grants available that are waiting to be applied for for our village that because you have to have a finished master plan in place. And as long as the master plan sits there and isn't approved, then the grants are not available to us. And the watch the water. That's, that's another water. thing. And that, and that is a conscious decision being made, and you know, there's nothing you can do at this point. And I'll just point out one thing that is obvious from this past year is that the master plan, two years, that regardless of what it says in the master plan, apparently there's some people on the village council that we don't follow. So it's kind of like a exercise in futility in a way. Okay, that's all I want to say. I think in a big way. <laughs> well, and I think that's one of the goals with our Spinner, joint meetings is, our is, is reminding that everybody, keeping things to, to the surface that we can all discuss and remember and, and keep it forward. And so. the same applies to the 
recreation master plan and just ignore parts of it. So. It is a good basis, however, if you find yourself in a position where you are sued over the ordinance that you have, your master plan should have and typically would have the tools to deal with a lawsuit issue relative to the zoning part. So I, it, it has multiple purposes. One is to give you direction, but the other is to help you if somebody wants to go a different direction than the master plan is laid out to go. So I mean somebody other than the village council. Correct. Yeah. And, and yeah. keep in mind that let's, the let's say somebody wanted to take and have a parcel rezoned something they wanted it to be but it's not zoned that way now and it's not proposed to be zoned that way in the future without an approved master plan you have a very tough time uh, fighting that issue through the court process if your master plan isn't within the last five years which is the state law requires that to be done in a five-year cycle if i could just point out before we get off track the master plan is on the agenda under unfinished so yeah. Sorry. Right. No, sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing, that, nothing that this group can fix. <laughs> I'm good. I thought you were going to pull the whole scroll out. Yeah, I will. I have a list of the parks and nothing you guys do. Too. And uh, I know Pat George has been starting to work on a committee, I believe, that is already starting to work on that with Brandon Township. Uh, I did suggest that it would be a good idea to maybe include somebody from the Planning Commission I suggested you with your background and experience that you would be a good person to be on there and you thought that was a good idea. I don't know if Mr. George contacted you yet or not, but um, you know, I will remind him about that and see if we can try to get uh, get you involved on that because I think that would be a good fit to help out with, with guiding the development of the Parks and Rec's plan. I'd certainly be interested in that. Okay. I would just like to apologize for being late. Oh. I We were sitting there watching the storm come in and the hail and everything, and then we were watching the second storm come in, and I I knew I was coming today, and then I completely forgot. So, uh, I, I just would like to apologize. I, I am That's sorry fine. for your... You I was just hoping the first storm would get done before I had to go. <laughs> right. yeah. It was phenomenal. Yeah, it was, it was amazing to watch it come through. That's all. Yeah, so, it was cool. It was, you see my yard where I had all the bare dirt from that I tried to level out after they put the new well on, and now it's all going up. Oh, yeah, make yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I apologize. Oh, that's all right. good. All right. Very good. Thank you all. So, we have new business plan review of 4 South Street, best MSU credit. Are you doing that? Plan right. review, South Street, MSU credit. And Did I think that has something to do with this. No? I think that was the, that's the thing yeah. that to review. Yeah, but they, they just, sent us we, something. We came in in February. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. And yeah. I think all they did was warn us that it was coming up. <laughs> well, it was determined in February that we didn't have to. But we had a design revision uh, from that plan. Okay. And uh, Liz had suggested that we could. Great. And, uh, so I think we've almost gone back to the original, Sorry. other than some curves. Um, so at one point we're going to remove the, uh, the drive through canopy. Oh, and, yeah. uh, and, uh, oh, we started that we have our wellhead. Yeah. We have to protect that. Oh, yes. So, so I was wondering, in this case, is this going to be a new green space? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 More pervious area. So, there, are you, was you talking about the landscape there in that? The one uh, that's the along the side of the X of yeah. the adjacent building. I was curious, is that all is just going to be just grass? Well, no, it looks like they're going to put an enclosure for a dumpster know, at that. Do we want him to speak first? Yes. Yeah, that would be great. There will be, there will be uh, a couple of small trees and uh, bushes, mostly low lying. Um, from a security standpoint, we don't want anything too large. But it will not just be grass. So the building staying there. The building staying there. We're taking off the wood siding and exposing the old brick. That will look way better. 
<laughs> and I've checked the, um, so the enclosure is six foot for the downstairs. Yeah. I'm still not sure if we agree that yeah, it's six that was foot another, for downstairs. That was yeah. another ad since February. Oh, okay. We were sharing a dumpster with the uh, hardware store. Oh, okay. And that's okay. no longer an option. Gotcha. And we all have the fencing around that. So, like, do you want to just tell us? Anything had a question about the dumpsters? Oddly enough, Mr. Dinan's name is next to this item. Do you have things to add or subtract from this? Oh. Look at the plan. It appears to be very good. Here's the design. Matter of fact, sir, I agree with Mr. Hagenman that the little green space down the top would actually be a added feature, a nice mm -hmm. feature of the area. So it's so right, we'll, we'll right in that area, everything is black top of concrete. We'll be checking your, what type of plants or shrubs or trees are planted there. Yeah, we do have landscaping within the ordinance, and I'll check to make sure that what they propose yeah. meets the I'm sure the it's, like you said, low line, but so. it does make a difference on some of those. Right. And the other thing is, uh, the ATM, there's, is there, there's not going to be one in the vestibule no longer. Correct. And the ATM is uh, will be outside. It's the I, ITM. 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 Yes. So, so then, there, is there walking space? Is that a sidewalk where those of us that don't drive into the village can walk up to the ATM? And you'll be walking up through the driveway. You'll be fighting traffic. How big is that walkway? Where's the top? Right right here. Here. The driveway? Right here, this? Yeah. yeah. So the yeah. this is the walkway? Well, no, it's, it's the driveway yeah. and the walkway. Okay. It's so nine and a half feet. It's a yeah, half feet. Yeah, the one side of the other side is 8.8. Yeah. But you can walk. Yeah, it just didn't look like 8.8 is about as right. uh, tight as we can get so that keep in the existing walk. Uh, right. It just yeah. looked like there was a real narrow space. Actually, going to try to get to that ATM on foot. They would have to actually be in the, the drive. The the drive. Way. Correct. It's a six-inch curb adjacent to the building, and that's that's part of the uh, requirements of the ITM, so you can uh, reach it from your car. Yeah. But that is the appropriate way to do it by foot. It's to walk through that as well. Unofficially, I would say yes. That's just like going up to drive a window at a fast food restaurant. You know, you're not legally allowed to do that. There's no place to uh, yeah. walk without getting an order. Well, but you're not legally allowed to walk through a drive-thru. So it's really an order. But do you know, do you know how many people walk into that vestibule? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. All, all the time. The time. So, so, yes. So, so is that going to be So that's the final Legal plan. wise? Probably nothing to require. Sure. What can we do here? Yes. I know. I Interactive. <laughs> I just when I see that there's a uh, you have the option of uh, speaking to somebody. I see. As a as, on a camera. ITM night drop. Night drop is the separate piece. Well, uh, I know a lot of banks. They don't have necessarily maximum ATM. They have to be running out. It's not unusual to. But I think, oh, yeah, I think it is when it's inside of a, a small village. Outside of you, Chase and those, you know, there's, yeah. there's nobody that walks up there probably anyways. Right. But typically, the one here in town, they walk there's in a way. lot of walk traffic that goes in there. But, uh, but again, it, that's just a convenience thing. I that, think in any town, even downtown Rochester, everybody walks to the bank. Everybody walks downtown. Mm -hmm. My mom walks to the bank twice a week every week. Yeah. I, I can't imagine taking away a... Mm -hmm. Way to walk to. I mean, that takes away the people. I would think that the bank has already done the study. I know how much that gets used versus the items. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I, so, I would say that this is one of their lower volume branches. Okay. In general. Well, I'm wrong, but I don't think they do have an available or not. 
Yeah. 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 We'll just have to watch the hours that you're on. I also invited Matt Jenkins from our DBA here. Okay. Um, much like September Fest, I think either you or Paul from Granger stopped in and talked to Fred today. Okay, that would be Paul. Paul, okay, there is a, um, a DBA event that happens in October that I don't know if the construction is going to impact. We will uh, we'll work with you and make sure that we start. In, uh, in that area or finish in that area. My understanding of that conversation that took place is even if they're not, they will back off from the parking spaces so they're available for that event. Okay. But yeah, they will we'll, still have to keep some type, if they're still working, they're going to have to keep some type of temporary barricade sure. for safety reasons. Correct. And nothing anchors in place. It's but, you know, okay. And we want to be good members of the community. Right. That's what I understand. When are you starting, then, or you think? Our plan is uh, April, August 19th, Okay. and it will be closed. The branch will be closed completely for uh, eight weeks. Okay. That's our current plan. That's pretty and then the goal is to be finished after those eight weeks? Is, yeah, is the goal to be finished after the eight weeks? Uh, yes, other okay. than some punch list work. Sure. Yeah. We tried to look at uh, several different options for uh, facing it. And none of them really worked all, all that well to uh, maintain yeah, security. Need for my tape. Oh, okay. So the bank asked you to get rid of it. Yes. The faster way is to get rid of it. Is this the second round? No, it's not. It's not a faster way. Yeah, and that's why it's only eight. Four, that was about as wide as we could get it, maintaining the existing columns from the uh, canopy. And your wells in that area too. Right? Correct. It's on the uh, would be the lower left hand corner. Right. So that's pretty hard to move at this point in time. Correct. Because typically bypass only get a little bit wider than that under most circumstances. Now I know the ordinance here. And the village doesn't address a minimum width for many other ordinances do, but yeah, eight foot nine is tight. Um, I don't know that the fire department's taking a look at the site plan yet, okay. but um, I'm guessing they're going to want some adult parking fire signs specifically down through the bypass area. So I don't see them on this plan. Know if that's uh, in the works to make sure they're there, or we will put whatever signage we have to. Okay. We got that on tape now. So will this yes. this will go in, <laughs> this will go to the fire department before it goes to council. Yeah, I, if I had I know that was coming this quick because I typically don't attend these meetings now. It's usually uh, done with the village manager. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I am here, and I just kind of thanks. But uh, most. And especially with the town, every site plan that comes into the township goes to the fire chief. Right. Um, had I been thinking about it, this one would have gotten there previously too. And it will before I actually issue the permit. Because he'll have comments, I'm sure. Right. Well, and I'll condition those upon, all that. Yeah, I'll condition those upon the fire department's comments. So I don't know if there's an ox box on this building, but there will be before it's all over and that kind of thing. I believe there is on the uh, Mill Street entrance. Yeah. Yeah, there is. But that's all the things that the chief and I will work out in the permitting process. Sure. We're planning to submit drawings early next week. Good. For permit. Have you done, gone over the landscape area and have you checked it relative to what the ordinance requires for plantings or not yet? Not yet. Okay. Will that be forthcoming? So is the canopy going away all together? No, that was uh, in February. It, our plans that we had, and we we came and visited the, this group. Right. The plan is very similar to what we have today, with the exception of the the landscape area and the dumpster enclosure. Okay. Since that meeting, the owner wanted to look into. Uh, completely getting rid of the canopy, and that's when Liz and I spoke, and she said that we really needed to come in for site plan approval since we're drastically changing the building. Um, there have been subsequent design meetings, and the canopy is now remaining. Oh, 
I don't think that's all bad since that's your walk up to the IPM machine now. Sure. I mean, yeah. we were going to have yeah, a... And inside, at least, should be out of the ring. We were going to have a narrower canopy to uh, to cover the people in the vehicles. Okay. Um, it just seemed to uh, be throwing a lot of money after something that wasn't really what we wanted. Why are we getting rid of something that's there? Yeah. Understood. Sometimes ideas work out. <laughs> Do we uh, normally, I'm, I'm new with these first ones we've had drawings of it, typically do we get them before they go to the fire department for the landscape? Typically not. Okay. But this one I wasn't at top of, and the person I believe that was no longer employed. So, uh, yeah, normal, normally it would come in. I would review it. The fire chief would review it. Right. We'd put our comments together. Um, then we in know. many cases, depending on what the issues are, uh, most of the other communities I work in actually forward it to their planner for review. Um, but this didn't quite fit no, that program. Right, it wasn't exactly. that extensive enough for that type of uh, expenditure. But typically, the, the chief and I both get to review these before it comes here. Right. The, this one was kind of does it go or doesn't it go? Is no, wasn't really extensive, but enough that the planning commission needed to be involved. Uh, if you recall, a number of years ago, we modified the ordinance that allowed me to do administrator review and, and inform the planning commission of what happened on smaller projects. This was one of those that could have gone either way, but because of what is happening, I felt it the best they, they come to the planning. So what is the next step? Does the Planning Commission rec um, recommend this to the Village Council? I know you said it goes to the Fire Chief. Does Council have to Actually, the Council it? doesn't have any I didn't think so. input into this. It's okay. by, by ordinance, it's the Planning Commission approved site plans. Okay. So, so should our recommendation be based on you taking it to the Fire Department for review? No, I will do that anyway. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're I don't good need with your permission on that one, but thank okay. you. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know if you wanted it in writing. That's yeah. all. Oh. Okay. But we so do need a motion, though, right? Can you need a yes. motion to do something with it? What else? Based on approval of. I'm going to make right. a motion. Wait, wait, wait. 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 I just have a couple questions. You mentioned restoring the brick. Yes. Um, what? Efforts have been taken to well, what preservation efforts have been taken to uh, restore the building. I, I saw the renderings and they're very, I'll use the term handsome, <clears throat> the rendering of the new building. However, that entrance is not, I can't say for sure, but I'm pretty certain it's not restoring the original facade entrance. So I'm just curious as to what preservation efforts have been taken. you have pictures of the original building or anything like that? No. We've, we've looked. Um, we've, uh, we did take a walk around and notice that there is existing brick uh, sticking out below the plywood. And we're uh, very confident based on the the, the thickness of the walls but that was added on top of the existing brick. So as we uh, gently tape off the, the wood panel, we'll be restoring the mortar and more bricks that are uh, damaged to uh, to match what's there as best as we can. And it, unfortunately, I'm coming into this late in the game, and so certainly I'm not setting expectations, but. We, as a Main Street Oakland County community, we have access to a historic preservationist and a preservation architect. Um, had I come in earlier on, they would have been available to work with. Maybe I'm just not for sure. And if that's something of interest to you, they've already indicated to me by email that they're standing by. Okay. While the building is uh, old, I don't think it's really considered uh, historic by any means. It doesn't seem to have a whole lot of uh, 
story. I, I bet it depends on who you ask <laughs> on the street here. I'm sure. <laughs> Amen. Sit down with Ron. Well, this back of Genesee Merchant. Yes, and I, and I, I looked at some of the uh, picture. standards you were basing your, your plans off of, and certainly it doesn't qualify. It wouldn't, the expectation wouldn't be there for the Secretary of the Interior's preservation standards. But we just, we're always looking at the buildings thinking, how can we get back to their original sure. facade? And, and that's what we're trying to do, and also uh, maintain their brand uh, right. as, a, as a company. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, and the entry is, uh, is, is what they uh, is what we've come up with as a team. Well, I can add this: is that looking in our? It's not in there. I just tried to find it. Is not yeah. shown as one of the ones that was noted on the historic it's preservation the survey. So I think that uh, yeah. says something right there: is that it's not as historic as some of the other buildings. I was just looking through that too, Larry, because I thought, oh, yeah. I don't know what it originally originally looked like. No, I, th I think I no you know, at least of restoring it to the original brick would definitely be a step back towards um, making it fit more with the other historic buildings in the area. So I think that I, I like the idea of seeing it restored to the original brick. The other thing I like to seeing in the, the plan that they have a big window on the front big window area there, which I, I like we that. believe that's what was there. Yeah, because I think that also enhances the character of downtown to have buildings that have, you know, shops that have window areas and stuff, because it, it, it just looks more like an inviting downtown area as opposed to completely bricked off facades mm -hmm. where there's no visible windows. So I think in, in general, I think that the aesthetics of the building will fit in with the community. And if there's no historical records to go down. <laughs> so, if it's any more comment or may I nope, make a motion to no, okay. no, I, like I know Bill suggested that it's under the condition of the fire chamber. Yes, I didn't get it. I was going to I'm just like, because we were just um, I make a motion to oh. approve the site plan as presented pending the approval of the fire chief. Support. Bob, did you have any thought on that? I know you've uh, been on the other side of the table. I was just going to add the building inspector in there, but that's as long as the fire chief. You've got to get a permit from me, so right. you don't need to go there. It doesn't get to that. I, was just, I know you've been on that side of the table. I didn't know if there's something that. No, that's okay. fine. And the indication from the applicant that they will be making sure that the rebuilt area meets the landscape part of our own. Okay, you want me to do it? Does that fall in? That would add that in, but it could be fine in your second. So I make a motion to amend my motion to add uh, also with the understanding that the green belt area will be in compliance with the relevant ordinances. Is that good enough? That's good. Second. Yeah. Okay, so uh, all in favor? Wait, we'll wait yeah. till Liz is ready. Yeah. I was going to say, would you mind Sorry, sorry, that? sorry. Who, who is my support? Doesn't we don't care. I think Melanie supported the original. The first one. Patty yeah. yeah. second. Patty supported the amendment. Just do Melanie Olson. It'll be fine. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. All good. Motion by Hayden, seconded by Nyvelt, to approve the site plan as presented pending approval of Fire Chief with the understanding the Greenbelt area will be in compliance with existing ordinances. That's good. Do you want to roll call on that? No. Don't need one? I don't think It's not money. Would it be? I don't think so. Joe, so, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? May I make a suggestion to well, I gotta speak to the chair. Yes, sir. What I, I would like to make a suggestion that one of these plans be uh, signed by yourself as the approved site plan pending tonight's meeting. Uh, the 
the reason I bring this up is, is that uh, local community across the street, we have numerous site plans, and we don't know which one was really the approved set. So I want to make sure that our bookkeeping here stays uh, accurately. We've sent a digital copy to Liz. Pardon me? We've sent a digital copy to Liz. You sent a digital copy to me? Yeah. Where did well, you send that? We'll do a full set. I just want one that's got the chairman's the approval date. The date. Yeah, absolutely. As the set that was approved at this meeting. Yes. So thank you for that. Especially with the um, Did you send it? Yes. It would have been for me. Like you opened it, you just the didn't open the spam. attachment. That's all. By the way, thank you. Very nice, complete, thorough plan. These are very nice. They were ready to submit for construction, so yeah. uh, they should be completed this morning. I have a suggestion to a little bit more into code analysis before you hand it to me or have Of course, you? there's a whole code compliance sheet. Excellent. Yes. That makes the plan would go a lot faster for you. I reviewed that myself this morning. Yeah. All the sections, the travel distances, yeah. document levels. It'll expedite the high review if you've already done all the work. So, yes. 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 I, don't have it. Look at it. I don't have it. Okay, I will uh, I'll get you another copy. Okay. For, uh, I'll make sure you get a copy. Do you want this copy? I just get it. Get a bunch here. Monday, July 29th at 7 p.m. That will be at the Old Town Hall. Thanks, Matt. Did we check and make sure Old Town Hall is available? No, we did not. What time? <laughs> we can go to the Senior Center. Uh, what time? Uh, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Thank you. I will not be there. You can't be there with Brian? No. That, that's the one that... Oh, you're gone both. Yeah. That's right. Because yeah. I was going to say, most people said the 29th, so that's why I thought okay. it was okay. Um. Yes. And with that... Old Town Hall is available. Well, the Oak Town Hall is available. On the 29th or 30th? Monday, July 29th, 7 p.m. Yeah. And so that gives us the opportunity to um, take the DDA budget, which is completed and approved, the Village Council budget, which is completed and approved, and begin our July um, new fiscal year, 1920, and um, take 2020. our latest. 19 20, 1920. Oh, 1920. Gotcha. Um, I'm like, wait a minute. Right. Oh, yeah. And then um, use our draft master plan. Well, we'll have our draft. It can't be approved because it's 63 days. Mm -hmm. So well, I mean, we'll have our draft master plan. Well, we have a draft right now. We, yeah. We'll work with whatever we have available. Um, and just kind of think, if you don't mind in your head, visions, ideas, projects um, that you think you'd like to see. Um, not necessarily, you know, what its budget is going to be, what's, it's not laid out. Um, just what do you think is a good plan? Um, if you remember correctly at the joint, very first joint meeting um, when we were at the library, we talked about what each table thought was important and um, drew the fabulous little diagram of what is important. Concentric circles. We're going to, those concentric circles, and we're going to revisit that and see if that's still the case and start from there. So just with that in the back of your head, what's and then good? Uh, there, what would you like to see? There were personal things that everybody um, was allowed to hand in too. When we did the, we had to do write-ups and whatnot. We yeah, the, do, are the they master still plan? here? That's yeah. for the master plan. But those yeah. are the ideas. Yes. Like if I was to submit something, that's what I would well, submit to you. Well, then let's just say, hey, can we have a copy of that? Oh, We'd like sure. to have do it. We have those here? Here, right? Do we have those here? <laughs> um, I can check and see. We do. Okay. So, yeah. I okay, have a cool. whole master plan file. It's probably in there. Okay. So that's what your suggestions would like to be. Because I was going to say, since you can't be here, which I was going to send an email out, whoever can't be here, send something that you have in your head and you'd like to see from that point. And like I said, this is just a simple throwing out of ideas. Then comes, you know, obviously the money after that. And any but particular subjects or what? Just what you want to see. No, 
just what you would like to see. Like I said, we kind of have a base from last year, but what does it look like this year? Last cool. year was the cool. sidewalks, the drains, the communication. Uh, that or anything was... to do with the village, you mean? Sure. Or for the master plan? No. We're not just a I mean, the master plan is kind of a guidance for the next steps. The budget's a guidance for the next steps, but what are our next steps? Now we have money, now we have a plan. What are we going to do with it? We don't have money, but let's pretend we have money. What are we going to do with it? <laughs> well, that's what you do is you come up with a capital improvement plan that helps you. Well, we have that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, the money it's, not that we, it's not that we don't have any money, it's just that we have very limited money, so we have to prioritize to be what's the most important things that we want to start on with the money that we have available now. Yeah. But this step is what would you like to see? Right. Yeah. Not what will we see, just what would you like to see. So, right. Anyway, and that's, and that's, that's where we're at. We go back to those. We don't have to reinvent the wheel because we've all done that already. Sounds good. And yeah. I think this is important that we continue with these meetings because I think it, what we really need to do as a community, I've said this, this is one of the reasons I ran for council, is that I really think that what we need to do as a community is try to get our different boards <coughs> to come together and collaborate more like a team all together for the community as opposed to being at odds and going in different directions. So I think that coming together and finding out where we have uh, that agreement and where we can start collaborating and building that trust between the different groups is really important for us because ultimately we want to do that for our community. Exactly. And when we all have the like vision ahead and we can all work on it together, that's a good step. Yep. So that's it. We hope to see you and if we can't see you, please represent with the do thought, email, note, something, if you feel the need. On to the next. On to the next. Okay. okay. So, unfinished business. Master plan draft review. What does that really mean this time? I, would, I have no idea. Well, it doesn't matter. You're not required to do anything with that. that. It's, it's just unfinished business. So, it's Stays. Stays until it's finished. Yeah. I, I think that there was a few minor changes to maps and things. But, but yes, and they, I still have they, to. They did get those maps and that to us. Yeah. We got Wood Bridge Lane, correct? Um, <coughs> FYI, I don't think I've mentioned this to everybody. <coughs> the maps are, a couple of the maps are still incorrect because trails have not been changed over to pathways, and I have to contact McKenna for that. Okay. And that was one of the whole And that was clearly stated that that was supposed to be done, right? Correct. So it's McKenna's fault that they didn't... They didn't no, it was not, no. It was not no. clearly stated to McKenna. Oh, It was yeah. clearly stated to me, who did not... Okay, I, I would just want to clarify McKenna. that. If McKenna was supposed to, was there, no. was supposed to have gotten, taken those notes and made those changes. That was my fault. One of the many changes, we'll get there. Okay. I take full responsibility for that. Okay. But I would like to point out, I am the one who caught that Edward Street had been incorrect for the last two master plans. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> was it once named so oh, Edwards? <laughs> it was Edwards, right? But it yeah. has always been listed as Edwards Street, and it's Edwards. I mean, ah, the okay. thing, the only thing, and I, I know okay. it's worth okay. spending money on to fix, but I was a little bit <laughs> disappointed on the acknowledgments we made oh, yes, to notice that. You know, all of the titles are different. Some of them are bolded, some of them are not, some of them are italicized, some of them we are not. We asked for that to be fixed. Yeah, she we already went through that. You know, it still is like all, all over the board on, on the way the titles are going. But I don't want to spend extra money to correct that. If, if McKenna says that it's going to cost extra money. So how much did that plan cost? Oh, we're not done yet. It's, um, it's, it's it's still going about ticking up the, the price right now. We are over budget. Yes. Yeah. How high is that? I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I we're what not done budget? yet. Do you know? Remember? Okay. Never mind. That's fine. No, it's at least like I don't. Twenty. Oh, it's more than that. Twenty-eight thousand. Twenty-eight. Can you look at the map? It was budget. Look at how your street is spelled. Years, sure. Yeah. I think it's misspelled. Okay. I, I know they were chastised quite there at the village council meeting, but I would hope at some point that the planning commission would just at least send them a note or something. You know, how pitiful. I mean, 
I'm, I'm not very good with putting things together sometimes with my yes, printed right. knowledge of the, of the printed word, but my goodness, it was pitiful. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Any of it. Do that. Press and pill is yeah. Okay. Press and pill is not. Press and pill is not correctly spelled. Yeah, but press and court is, which is right. But then on one map, press and is right, and press and isn't right. Okay. Okay. Do you want us to um, you send those? you the yeah. like the yeah, what little right. tweaks we found? You want me to email it to you? Let's that do that. Great. I'm gonna do that because I found a couple other things and I gave it to. Um, but I'll send you and I'll copy you. Okay. Some of the, yeah. Because I'm still trying to figure out what you said. That's okay. No, no, no. Oh, All I good. see what you circled. No, All I good. need to know what you circled. I get yep. it. Okay. okay so and then I'll just send you that instead of wasting also time. correct the formatting on the titles on the acknowledgement? I've already got that. Okay. The maps, the acknowledgement page. MacArthur's yeah. suggestion of a note or letter. We but didn't we ask they, them when she was okay, sitting right there? The, the, way the, the, the plan that you was presented? Okay. And she sat with myself and Bill yeah. for two and a half hours. I mean, are you and happy and with the, the plan that you were presented, presented okay. with? Okay, so that's not on us. And okay. the corrections? So, I mean, it was like... Just not at all. I, Thank you. I've been stating throughout this process that I've been disappointed with the professionalism of the county. Yeah. Because I dealt with them the last iteration of the master plan. And they were much they were much more professional than much better job. But that's yeah. here near there. We yeah. need to just finish and move forward and you're right. I chose oh, absolutely. to go but with them. Make, and, but at the end of this, this I'm with you. Well, we know we won't be. One person but we need to put it on record. And I'm with you, Bob. One person talking in time, please. Bob, I'm done. I'm done. All right, then, then, time your stuff. <laughs> I'm good. Clear. Go ahead. Would the Liz? chair acknowledge Liz, please? Absolutely. Yes. Hi, Liz. The sun's out. Yay! Okay. That's it. But we're in here. So. <laughs> so let's give it away. Yeah. Okay. Sun's out. No, Melanie, do okay. you have anything to add to what, whatever it was you were? Just say we need some changes. Right? Okay. So I have a question. What are we supposed to be doing with uh, reviewing this master plan? I just provided um, a copy to you guys. That is the, um, should have all of the edits. That should be like a clean copy of your changes, council's changes. And so since it was provided to council, I didn't feel like right providing them a copy and not giving you guys a copy. So, Thank you. So it's the latest. Yes. It's the greatest. Yeah. So what are we allowed to do with this? <laughs> you can do whatever you want with it. Before we I have a, I have a suggestion, some more <laughs> before we get That's to the nice. uh, joint meeting. Or here's a question. Um, That's exactly <clears throat> there's going to be another, at some point, another village council workshop on this master plan. Mm -hmm. Are we allowed to come there and bring anything we want to? Uh, and um, I, I don't know how the rest of the other council feels, but from my perspective as a council member, I think if we had planning commissioners there and we had any questions, I would certainly invite comments from the planning commissioners if there was some. Mm. But uh, you know, like I said, I don't know how the other council members would do it, but I would certainly well, see, so you just gave that wonderful sermon on how all the groups should work together and blah, blah, blah. So if the planning commission came there, they should certainly do that if you want everyone to be collaborative. I agree. That's why I said I would certainly That's be in favor. I will say this is that at one of those workshops, I did see Rick and, and some folks there, and it was nice having... Uh, some other people there for one other person. Yeah, it was me. I, I would have been there. Was Rick up. blocked me out. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I must say, that was an extreme. We did pay Rick to do that. <laughs> yeah, extremely frustrating experience for me. Because there was no opportunity to, uh, very little opportunity to comment on some of the things that were being said and hacked up on his plan. But anyway, hopefully it'll be better next time. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs>
All right. Anything else about the master plan? You want to talk? Anybody want to talk about the master plan? Yeah. I think we have. We have. But, We're good. But. Kind of. All right. I think then, we've done our part properly, so we're just waiting for council yeah. to wrap up there. Should I have a sign this? Okay. Roll. Take a quick. CIP, because I do not have. Do you have anything about the CIP? It has not today? changed. Okay. That's it's what it was. Correct. Right. Um, Bill, you know, worked out for left, and that's the latest. I, I think made. one thing I will, would like to the CIP is I think that we need to consider updating it to include the estimated cost of the Crossman Park drain project because that's going to be a very significant cost. Uh, I think the estimates are somewhere over $100,000 now. So that obviously is going to be a major project that we have to account for in our budget. So I think that needs to be somehow added or incorporated into our capital, into the capital improvement. Is the home on the corner, because I always see the water draining out here to church, is that also draining into the park or going into Hamilton's? I know. Where all is that draining? And I've asked about that drain quite often because that is dangerous on church street in the winter. It, no. they, but it's gushy. It's a, what do you call it, not a, a flowing, is it a flowing well? Is well, that the artesian here? Not the one on, on the, the corner of Mill and Church? I think that uh, the sump pump runs all the time. Constantly. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's a flowing well also, but I know there for the longest time was a, a sump pump that just kept pumping it out. Yeah. And that, and it turns to ice yeah. every winter on that corner. That I shouldn't be. I that corner more than once. Yeah, a sump pump, there, there's an issue if the sump pump goes constantly. So maybe it has burnt like, out. It's like a full basement, and have you been in there? Mm -hmm. It's got like a full basement in it. That's fine. One on the corner, yeah. That's why there's water yeah. out there all the time. Yeah. So you're allowed to hook your sump pump up to the public drains? Well, I don't think he's no, hooked it's up just to it. Sitting, it's just knowing it's, it's, it's sitting next to the house. You'll see it right there's next to the house. It comes out, out and it goes right down the driveway, right into church. The water does. It yeah. gushes. It just gushes so all day long. it pumps it out on his property and then it flows out. Now. Down the driveway into church. But there's a lot of sump pumps connected to the public drain. I don't see it gushing but like they're this in one. underneath. Correct. Right. Yeah. They're, they're, they're connected correctly. But is there a drain there? It, it yeah. just comes out the side of the house. No, no, I mean, is there a, a church? A drain no. in the it's road? The, I think it's the around the corner. Yeah. Right. Right. right, yeah. But right. it's also front of the well, street, too. No, his driveway, yeah. here's Mill and here's yeah. South. No, no, there's. His driveway's yeah. here. It's been like no, that. Church. I, can't, I can't tell you how many years. It goes back but well before me uh, retiring. So that's that's 10 years. So mm -hmm. it's, it's been there eight years. Oh, wow. It's been like that for the longest time. I don't know how long it's been vacant, but it was vacant before I retired. It needs to be tore down. Well, she's evidently not selling do it to a relative. I, I, know, I know there's not much you can do about that. Well, it's my Sorry. understanding. Tell me, Bill. It's, I did not look into it. My understanding that basically uh, you keep your water maintained on your property. If it's going to someone else's property, is that not a concern? Uh, actually, the way the no laws are written, it has to follow the natural drainage course. So it would go to either some type of a drain or it goes out to the public way. And the public way typically has a way for it to drain somewhere. The problem is, is that if you don't have a public way drainage and it's got a place to drain, there it says. Yeah, because it's around so the many corner. communities have ordinances that require if you have access to a storm system, many communities have ordinances that require that you look into your self public into that drain. Yeah. drain. So is that something that maybe we should consider? Uh, I don't know. I can do a little mean. research on your ordinance to see if your ordinance is there. I mean, if you said there are a number of people here that already are hooked into it, um, was it, was that by choice or was that by? So that, I, and I can tell you, speaking for myself, it was so that you're not doing what this that person is doing. Well, yeah, but is it by ordinance that that took oh, place or is it by? I shouldn't even have said nothing because I've been doing that for an awful long time. Oh, that's right. You can do that. <laughs> okay. You can't put it into a public sewer system, but you can put it into a public drain system. But if, you, if, if it's mandatory, then you do have to look into it. I don't, I don't, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Mine okay. used to go right out on the ground until I... So it was by choice you hooked it. Correct. Okay. Um, 
I should have well, that was short when I was young. And, and, and that's what I was wondering. If so, so, I was wondering. so can I ask the rest of commissioners, do you think it's worthwhile for Bill to uh, investigate that and bring that back to us? With yeah. what's yes. This has this been off yeah. the table year after year. Okay. But here's the problem. It's not just the ice that's the issue. Pump that water back out into the road. That starts deteriorating. It's deteriorating in the road, the road the area. The road. Yeah, the, the sidewalk. The roads, the whole yeah, that's the one of the things kind of that we're dealing with. Our community is drainage that, issues. After I wash my truck or roads. car, when I'm coming down, <laughs> you just, know to avoid I, it. I go all around <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. And the sidewalk has that film on it, which is slippery. Yeah. And if you know the kids are running down there, that you're watching them slip and fall, the bikes are slipping. Been that way for ever. So you're saying that. Normal, like, the normal way to do it, like what Bob has done, is connect it underground to the storm drain, yes. not over, over land. You still have an overflow capacity at the house itself. In other words, when you bring it out, you put it in to either have an overflow mechanism or have a air gap. And you do that because if that pipe that's going underground happens to freeze, then it won't pump the water out and you're going to end up with it in your basement. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a stop gap. I mean, it, it makes it so that you can pump it out but out of the basement um, and that it still allows it to do that without backflowing into it. Okay, then you go out and you either jet the pipe out or steam it out and make it work again. Because that's exactly what I did. It's, that sounds good because I incorporated a, a switch just above my sump pump that if it's 20 below zero, Flip it it, over it, so I can it flip it over and do it under my yard. Right. And well, a lot of times they just pipe it out, and then what they do is they put a gooseneck on it. So when it comes out, if this pipe's plugged, well, it's going to go back out if, the gooseneck. If that freezes, it froze out. Probably out farther, right? Yeah, much farther out, yeah. Um, there are specifics to doing that because you always want to hook it in with a three inch pipe. And that's because anything less than that will freeze, mm -hmm. typically. Um, and probably you want to connect it far enough on the ground so it's below frost. Well, yeah, but some of your storm drains aren't going to be that deep. Yeah, Especially if you're at the end of the line. Yeah, I couldn't do that either. I, yeah, I would have liked to, but you're probably lucky if you're 18 inches below the ground. I'd have had it buried in water if I'd have put it down that far. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, there's a lot to it, but yes, there, there are a lot of benefits, not just from a safety standpoint where you're not responsible for it having to maintain those sidewalks and stuff that way because they are your sidewalks and you do have a certain amount of liability for them. And then you got your uh, residents dump the water out there that's freezing. Well, that's just one? a maintenance oh, headache, okay? Okay. Besides the fact it's tearing off, tears up the roads, and so on and so forth. So I think that. we're digressing though. From so we're okay. Well, that's, no, that's okay. our discussion item. That is but what we're discussing. If Rick. this has been on the table before, Rick. Here and there touched on between control. different, right. So has it been looked up before? Has right. anything been done or has it just been? I don't think he's building it. Well, I don't right. know. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. I, I, that's a that yeah. I know it's been leaking since I moved in here. When I was on council years ago, we never we never talked about it. So but you it was you'll, never you'll, you'll talk about it. See if there's something there. I'll see if there's an ordinance I mean, that's all right. Right. If there is, then it's an easy thing. Right, but if the, I think there's a different way they could hook it up, though, because You'll see when you see it, you're going to be like, I think there's a different way they could hook it up if there's not an ordinance to mandate. I still, I think they could hook it up to help the sidewalk situation. But you'll see and when you, you look at it. I don't think sold. so, but you don't uh, think? I think there's a way they could. Any, but I don't think there's any, any answer to that one other than bringing it out the front. Okay. And go run it out. No matter where you put it. Yeah. Yeah. How about the lot? So then somebody's actually going to live in the house? Are we on the CIP? Maybe. Or are we on the CIP? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We're on the CIP. Back to the CIP. Yeah, we have a lot to it. Couldn't go out that way. And somebody else's property. No. Do we have to get I just, do we have anything else um, to talk the C, about with the... I do, on the CIP, I mean, I, I understand it, and, and I would I thought I was really going to enjoy working on a master plan, but now it makes me nervous of working on the CIP, but the... Uh, don't we need to really wait until we get a manager before we start changing or adding anything to it, or... Well, I think there's a... Isn't capital improvement plan part of planning commission's 
designated responsibilities yes. Yes. by but law. But clearly, though, your manager should have a grip on what needs to happen over the yeah. short term as well as the long term. But yeah, capital improvement plans should piggyback and run with the master, master plan. plan. Right. But I, I don't, I can't believe that. I mean, I know I'm not up to speed on everything that's needed in the village for money wise I mean there's a there's different projects that I that I'm aware of but there's things that the manager should be putting together uh, equipment actually to be yeah, honest with you, I think that we probably could invite Bill to a meeting and he could probably cover all those topics because he's the one who puts that together for the manager. right yeah well it hasn't changed much I, since the last um, I was gonna Bill say like Bill but yeah Bill completed it yeah. through the end of May the year ended in July. Oh, it's Bob, complete. Sorry, the new one will then start. <laughs> and there's. Yeah, the, 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 <coughs> we're okay for a couple of years. The, 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 the lack of a manager shouldn't cause a big hiccup in the CIP. That's the point of the CIP. Yeah. Right. Capital improvement plan gives you a short term, which is a one to five year, and then you should have a five to ten year, and then you should have way out there. So that if you have big projects that you brought up to cross from park drainage, it's going to be a hundred grand. Okay, that that's probably more in the realm of the five to ten year because you're going to have to figure out how to pay for that. No, or that's a have, that's a thirty sixty day plan. <laughs> well, I hope we get a pocket full of money because it's going to cost you hundred well, grand. We, do. <laughs> we don't have an option. Yeah. Well, Today's July second. The thing is, we have X amount of dollars to spend right. on projects per year towards road improvements and things like that. So we right. got our, our right. budgetary line yeah. items. That's what I'm saying. We got to match up those line the items. The lack right. of a manager shouldn't, even if you went six months without a manager, shouldn't pick up mm -hmm. the capital mm -hmm. improvement plan. It should already be in place yeah. for that. Now, will it take a little bit to play catch up? When you get a manager, yeah, why? But it really shouldn't affect the overall unless you have a lawsuit or something that's causing certain things to happen. Well, like the Crossman Park issue. That, well, that's I, why oh, they need I, to. I haven't heard a lot about that, yeah. but I've heard a little bit. But, you know, if that's not <laughs> a we need like the DPW plan. in telling us what, I mean, that's typically what the part is. We need the DPW. I mean, it, they've got to have thoughts and plans of what they mm -hmm. yeah. what they know. Well, to be honest yeah. with you, I, for from my experience as a CIP? community, I'd yeah. say that we didn't really well, they've already have discussed any role. It with the manager, that he's brought it forward. So at this point, that's, I mean, we have what we have, what it looks like to work with currently. Yeah. I don't think we really had a real CIP plan prior to Bill getting here anyway. So the whole process in part, in, in my head at least, is that Bob can help with a, a uh, assessment of the roads and the condition of the infrastructure in the town and the buildings and things like that. He can help with an, an equipment uh, asset management plan for the equipment and stuff like that. And then looking at the roads, there's there's things that you look at that. Now that partly would also play with our streets committee on the council. We have to get their input on the, the road projects and which ones are prioritized. And then once you have a list of projects and the priorities, you have X amount of dollars, you got Y project, you just start allocating money to the projects each year until you're, you say, okay, these are the ones we can so this year one, build, these we can do. Yes, we'll put did. together a list of those priorities. That we that, had that in our One meeting. of those that were way back. Yeah, it's the same That thing. said we were going to wait until the master plan was done. Correct. Yeah, so because it's kind the master of a one, plan three, can put new right things now. in there. So, so we so have we're getting close to having the master plan done then. <laughs> Which this meeting will be a good time to see what we would like to include yeah. on that CIP. So that's yeah. we're kind good of all together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So CIP, we're not going to actually review it now because we've done that in the last few meetings. So we're just anybody have anything else to add about CIP? Could you email me the capital bill together? I do not. It's been so long that I've looked at it. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's next? No, it's the same. It's the same one that Bill yeah. signed last time, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I, I might for that plan. I might play around with some formatting so I can do some formatting where you can do sorting by columns and stuff like that, which will make it a little easier to be able to say, hey, what are all the plan? What are all the things for this year or that year, or that year, in the Excel spreadsheet? Okay. It's yeah, very I'm, simple. Well, I know I could do it. Yeah, but I if know. you want to do it, you go right. But, yeah, why not? Obviously, has a vision, it, right? Yeah. 
It'd be nice if you if we had some way to like take those items and link them directly on one, you know, annual you know, each annual page. Say, so, okay, here's for this year, this year, this year, and have them. You can yeah, put it in access. Could do that too, but could you just send me one? <laughs> way to go, Bob. Throw it all in. Grab those queries. Yeah, I, some of our guys at work are using pivot table and everything else. I'm like, no, I'm not going to start building all kinds of stuff like that. So are we on discussion? We should be on discussion. I yeah. have yeah. 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 discussion items for South Street and Drains. Yeah. started coming back. And I, yeah. I, I, I have one more. Discussion about Drains. Are we done with that? Are we done with CIP? Are we done with CIP? Last, last. Okay, go. Any discussion items? Well, that's where South Street went. And then the drain for the park. And then I have one more. Are we talking about South Street? The South Street. Church, church Street. Why church do I keep Street. saying Corner Church? Corner Church and Mill. I don't know if you keep saying that. Though. Church I Street. That. I was going to ask, no, what's going on? So nothing. Asking? I'm in my own. Uh, I just wanted to ask, is do we think we will be getting a village manager soon? Yes, I was going to ask that too. We don't know until we Do we have any plans. prospects at this point? We yes. We had prospects. And they're gone. Other, I think we had four reasonable interviews. Mm -hmm. Out of that, we picked two to come back. Only one of them came back. Uh, that person, unfortunately, did not fare as well in the full council interview as they did during the personnel committee. So I think they are not being looked at. Being concerned yeah. now. Uh, we looked at a second person, but I really don't know how the rest of the council feels about that person, and they've asked for uh, more time to post the notice and. Oh, so we're reposting potentially the other person. Okay, so we're back to reposting it. Okay, yes. yeah. all right. But we did put it's a shorter time time frame on the reposting. I think it's until mid July. What is July, it, July 12th. July 12th. Yeah, so we, we put a shorter time frame on the reposting because we do want to come to some conclusion sooner rather than later. Who's on the personnel committee? Tommy, me, and Unknown, which I so guess we will be Larry talking about that next week. Do you have to pick a third person? Is that what you're saying? No. Well, Tanya has to. <laughs> no, we do not. No, you do not. We no, do you not. do not. It's okay. up to three people, meaning up to. It yes. is not mandatory to have three on your personnel. So but you guys are it. I say go with it and get this done. I'm, I'm only saying that the decision about appointing a, a third person right. is up to the village president, Correct. Tanya, according to and the way approval the of the right. But you do not yeah. have to appoint a third person but if you guys want to give us anybody a... unless hmm? Tanya makes an appointment first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Correct, Tanya? Can you do that another? <laughs> I have something. Tanya, am I correct? Oh, yeah. The council yeah. cannot approve I anybody unless you appoint correct. somebody first. Appointment and approve. then approval, correct. Just order. like the president and Supreme Court now. Okay. Okay, Liz has some. Liz, Liz, we have these fabulous Oakland County directories. Bob, you might want one of these for the BGYA. Um, <laughs> everybody from the Village Council got one. Our logo is on the front. Yay. Oh. Um, I have two available if anybody wants one. What are they? Oh, what do they have in them? Um, it's got all of the staffing for all of the. Um, Municipalities in Oakland County. So if you, you want to know, you can get it at the public library. Yeah. If There's you want to there. know who is the clerk of Troy, it's in there. It also has all the departments within the county organization. So. Doesn't have a comb too. Oh, I thought it was a special item. Item. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to mention that when we were at the main event, which is where Main Street, Oakland County recognizes communities and stuff. Ortonville got an award for Witches Night Out. That yes, was really awesome that was being so there cool. and getting that was recognized fun. for that. Yeah, that was really it is a great event. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm definitely So the next Let's item see. that I was thinking of, we kind of discussed the drain issue. Um, just to make note, we do have some residents that are very unhappy that that has been an ongoing issue year after year after year. Um, and I personally apologize for that. Um, I think council is now taking that a little more serious because we have an issue on the Church Street end of the drain. We also have an issue on the Cedar Street end of the drain. So now that this is coming full circle, I think they're realizing the importance of that. Um, so just to make you guys aware, uh, the county has come out and we kind of had a discussion on Friday. Our engineers have given a draft. They're going to meet with the engineers of the Cedar Street House um, because they're 
needing to put in their septic eight weeks ago, um, limited on, you know, laundry, dishes, showers, things like that for weeks. Oh. So, yes, very uncomfortable and very unfortunate. So, um, getting the engineers to talk together, um, finding the best route, finding the best way, and that's why we don't have an option to wait on that. Um, we're flooding the Church Street septics. So, you know, if we have to replace those at 30 grand a pop, it's going to cost the village way more than 100 grand mm -hmm. um, because we are constantly flooding every time it rains, their yards with the park. So, working that down, on down to Mary Ellen's. Mary Ellen's has been repaired by the DPW numerous times. It has not stopped, it continues to leach. It just, both ends of that park are fabulous. Yeah, what address is that? Uh, she's yeah. next to Jane. The medical the building park. and the blue building. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, we were hanging out with her Friday too. And, you know, she just said, when the, the guys will snake it, clean it, drain it, DPW will come and they'll work for a little while. But. So, you know, obviously, you know, Creek here, I'm sorry, park here, Creek here, mm -hmm. life, but um, it's very important we need to do that. And so I just wanted to let you guys know that um, it'll be a mess when they're working on yeah. But no answer yeah, shall I be at the same time that um, right. it's used under construction. <laughs> All at the same time. <laughs> and September Fest. And the rest yeah, of right. Michigan is under construction. We want to keep up. Well, there you go. <laughs> it takes me an hour and 20 minutes to get home from work. I sat in front of my work in the same block for 55 minutes. I am so sorry. People were That's parking awful. in the hotel and walking across the street in suits where they needed to be oh at gosh. the Chrysler building. 55 minutes. I kept calling my boss. Oh, I'm glad I work five minutes from home. Right. <laughs> well, I was two minutes from work for 55 minutes. Wow. That's was great. But anyway, is that all? That's all you want? Okay, are there any other um, <coughs> discussion items that anybody wants to bring up? Everybody have a happy 4th of July. Yes, yes you, you too. too. Too, please. I would like to say that it's, um, you know, it's nice to have Bill here to give us some input on things that we don't know much about when Thank they you. come up. And, you know, we used to have you at our meetings a lot. And it's kind of been, in that regard, kind of dry lately. <laughs> I kind of step back. You guys are working on the master plan. Yes. And that is really the village's issue. It's not mine necessarily. I mean, I could have input into it, but you were paying a planner to right. help you out. Well, hopefully, it as, that, as that comes to more of a close, um, I would maybe attending more of your sessions as, as needed. Yeah, okay. so hopefully when we turn to the next phase of that, which once the master plan's approved, reviewing our zoning ordinances and see if they need to be adjusted, that's when we probably will rely more heavily on your input. My suggestion would be, I have numerous suggestions. When you get your master plan finding signed, sealed, and delivered, things that probably need to be addressed, and that would be more in the zoning ordinance. So your zoning map, and if you have properties that aren't matching your master plan working on yeah. getting those to where they do so that and I know we there we have raised the topic about going towards form based as opposed to use based zoning which I think makes more sense for trying to maintain the character of the village because appearance really is more important than what you're doing in that building and, and you know to do that I was just whispering in her ear when Matt brought up the fact that you know they wanted the historic character but yet you don't have Really don't have the tools in place to make yep, that happen. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, you can suggest it till you're blue in the face, but if you have somebody come in here with a application, they go, no. Yep. Because like you say, it's okay. We got hit by that. So by the one building that the hardware store put in, where they originally had all these this building with all these nice windows, and then when they built it, where the windows go? Well, we decided it was security risk, so we just took them all out. Yeah. Oh yeah. And there was nothing we could do because it's was use based and they were using it with the same use that they intended so yeah. we couldn't do anything about the change in form. But Have Julie's hoping to put drawings? windows back in. Yeah. Yes. Did yes. you see the new vision for the yeah. No. Oh, I hope really something's busy. being done because it's just Well it's, it's the, the thing. Uh, he's got some issues with the because he's trying to divide it up into different pieces and right. they had numerous discussions with him about that. Um, you're talking about Julie's, the hardware. The hardware. Julie, okay, Julie, yep. Right. No? Okay. Um, Scott, he 
he's going to have to spend some money on it is what the issue is that he's trying <laughs> well, to but you start providing up spaces you have to have public facilities for people mm -hmm. and depending on how many people are in the building depends on how many facilities you have to have so no it, it's it's a balancing act and he and with really no needs to get a sharp architect yeah. huh? and with no public yeah, bathrooms available in the there you go area. and you know what we had public ones that are within 300 feet. You don't have them. And that is, I think that it was one. Of, that is one of the elements that's proposed in our master plan. So when we get that approved, we can take a look and see if that's the one. Actually, the village of Franklin has put in. This is just her vision. Public restrooms that are on uh, timer based locks. And then she's they do lock at 11 o'clock at night, and then they open again automatically at 7 o'clock in the morning. So they can't be used for other strange things other than what you really intended it for. You but it's <laughs> cheaper, cheaper than hiring personnel to come in open them exactly. and close them. Yeah. And and I'll tell you, you what, you can put a magnetic lock on the door and you're not going to get that door open. You might as well tear the door off first. This is your phone. Wait. No, yeah. that's All right. Okay. Sorry. All right. Yeah. Over here. Are we, um, uh, done with discussion? Oh. All right. I'll entertain it. Motion to adjourn the meeting if no one else has anything. Make a motion to adjourn. Support. All right. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Thank you all for coming. Thank you.